Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve uninterrupted playback in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and I want to play it back without any interruptions. I'm playing it back for a client, whether it be online or in person. And if I want to zoom in, we do some editing on the fly, that's going to interrupt the playback. Let's hear it and notice what happens. The way that you make me feel, you wonder if I feel the same. The blood's rushing through your veins, and then when I say your name, you wanna tell me, come down, just go on and tell me your veins, and then when I say, just by accidentally clicking. It interrupts playback and starts playing from the section I accidentally clicked on. And that's going to happen if we click up in the ruler, you better, in the space between our items, better, and you under, feel, in the area below our tracks, or if we create different loops. It's going to interrupt our playback on the fly. And the same will happen if we try to edit on the fly. Let's say we wanted to copy from bar 5 and bar 6 over to bar 1 through 4. Watch what happens. We could start by deleting bar 1 through 4, create a razor edit over here, copy it, paste it over here. And over here. The way that you make me feel. But notice it interrupts playback on the fly. When we paste our bar one, it stops and plays it back from there, and the same at bar three. So interrupting our playback on the fly when we do editing. But we could change our preferences so we don't do that. So let's go to our preferences, go to options and preferences. And then we'll choose under audio, the seeking preferences. And we can see by default, top ruler, empty area of tracks, and empty area below tracks are all chosen, along with loop changes. So with these selected, if we click in our top ruler, way that you make me feel it interrupts our playback. And the same with the empty area of tracks, the empty area blow tracks and also when we change our loops the way that you if I feel the same the way that you make me feel so all those options are going to affect playback and if we have a client listening back online or in person, that's certainly not what we want. So what we could do is just turn off these options. If we turn off the top ruler, now we could play our song and click in the ruler without affecting playback. It's still going to play back from the point we select, but after we hit stop and play again. Way that you make me feel you under but not during playback. Everything. And we can do the same with the empty area of tracks. Click in between. Everything you need. High on this and it doesn't affect playback. In the empty area, blow our tracks, same thing. And also our loops. Turn that off. And if we create a loop, it's not going to reseek or replay the song on the fly. 
Until we hit stop and play it again. So we can just turn these options off and have uninterrupted playback in Reaper. Now there's something else I wanted to show you. Right over here, we have Smooth Seek. And if we turn back on these options and turn on this option as well, it's gonna Smooth Seek or start replaying based on our bars to make it sound smoother. So for example, if we start playing it and then click in bar four, it's gonna complete a bar before it jumps to this bar, like this. You under them when I say your name. You under the wind if I feel the same. So it waits till the end of the bar before it jumps to the next section. which can be useful for trying out different parts. Or we can use the option over here to play to the next project marker or the next region. Notice up here, we have regions for intro, verse, and chorus. If we start playing from the verse, we could click over here to jump to the intro, and it's not gonna jump there till it finishes the verse, like this. If I feel the same, we can do the same thing to jump from the intro to the chorus. As it's going to complete the intro before it jumps over here. So it's really useful for trying out different arrangements without actually editing our media. So that's the Smooth Seek feature. But going back to the purpose of this video, let's turn these options off. And now it's not gonna seek on the fly. creating an uninterrupted playback. And if you want to create that edit we did before, we could do it on the fly, like this. Once again, we could start by deleting bar one through five, selecting a razor edit from here to here, copying it, pasting it at bar one, and again at bar three and it doesn't interrupt our playback at all. And if you want to hear it back, just hit stop and play it from the beginning. And just like that, we created uninterrupted playback in Reaper. We wanna go back to the default, just go back to our preferences and turn on just the options we want. The ruler, the empty area of tracks, the empty area below tracks, and we change our loop point. So that's pretty much it. That's how to achieve uninterrupted playback in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go.